How do I uh, group my bank deposit with undeposited funds in a new QuickBooks Online? So uh, I'm already logged in here. Uh, I'm on home screen and uh, you receive some payments. So uh, in order to receive payments, you can go from your customer center. So here's your customer center. Let's say you receive payments on some of these already invoiced uh, outstanding invoices let's check this one let's say you receive payment on this one so receive payment say you went to undeposited funds and you can click just this one this is the one you receive payment you have Two other outstanding invoices left. Let's say you got payment on this one. Save and close. Okay, let's go to another customer center. And let's say you receive payment on, on this one as well. Okay, let's say you receive payment on the bottom here. Let's do the uh, middle right here all ones first okay so this let's say you receive payment on these two pay invoices let's go to see payment say on this one both so total check is this one this one three thousand five hundred ninety nine ninety four save and close let's go to another customer Let's say you receive payment on this one as well. Say this, this one. Receive payment. Right here. It went to deposit undeposited funds. Make sure it goes to undeposited funds if you are combining all checks and making one deposit slip. So it should go to deposit to undeposited funds. So you have all the bank accounts. And make sure it's undeposited funds is selected in the drop down selector here. Save and close. Okay, let's go to another customer. Let's say one more here. Say this one. Okay, and uh, if you know the check number, let's say that you got the check number here that is by check so write down check number like this so they have good reason they have they have check here payment matter is check write down check slip check and reference number is a check number so write down check save and close okay so let's say that's all we got and uh, now you want to make a deposit to the bank and transfer from undeposited funds to the bank account so click this one is your uh, plus sign this is the create sign create sign and you select bank deposit here bank deposit so at this point if you have downloaded uh, bank accounts don't try to do anything over there all you want to do now is bank deposit and it will automatically match total deposit from here to your bank statement or bound bank downloaded deposit. So at this point you have nothing to do in your uh, bank downloaded uh, section. So let's go to bank deposit here. Bank deposit, click this one. As you can see, you have received uh, you have received uh, all these payments, and uh, uh, you know the total is uh, eight six five one ninety one. Let's say you made a deposit slip for uh, for all of these checks. As you can see here, the deposit total is different now five six five one ninety one. So you can leave this one as it is because you have deposited one the fourth check, let's say, and the deposit total comes to 5651.
all right and at this point as you can see here you missed to write down the check number so you can still come back here and write check check write down the check number here check so this will be very helpful for the future reference so make sure you select payment maker is check so this last time you can uh, still make correction here Okay, so uh, so what what happens if you receive this one? Let's say instead of check, you got you get paid by cash. You can still select cash, or if you're paid uh, uh, by e check, you can still check e check here. So let's say this is all checks. So you wrote a deposit slip for five thousand six hundred fifty one dollar ninety one cents, and took it to the bank and you made these four deposits. So this is how you group the checks and make one deposit here. So when you go to your banks, when you receive a bank statement, you should see this deposit amount or when you go to your uh, bank feed, bank deposit section, so you should see the same amount and at that point, all you have to do is match. Match with this number. You don't need to add. You just need to match. So if you add, what happens? It will create double posting. It will, it will basically make your uh, income twice. So basically, just add. Don't need, don't need to add. Just match. If you are a bank download, at that point, that's all you got to do. So let's save and close. So now it's done. So if you go back to the bank deposit again, all you have left is just one check here. You haven't done the deposit yet. All right. Okay. Let's say this check you have deposited with some other checks and it happens to be like uh, you, you created uh, they, they just paid uh, for some invoice we have an invoice date let's say paid for some sales receipt it just send you a check and now you want to create a sales receipt because you already received payment let's say Right here, and you sold some product. Let's say the amount is five hundred dollars, and you want to send it to, let's say, you want to deposit with a bunch of other checks. So I went to under un, undeposited funds account, and the payment method is check, and reference number is check number. Let's say it's this. And you can see here amount received and amount bill for the same business balance due because we're using sales to suit here. So let's save and close. And you go to the bank deposit again. So now you can see here you have two checks here. Let us combine here these two checks. Right here, so you made a thirty-five hundred dollar deposit. Save and close. So that's it, uh, and uh, now you should see those two deposits in your bank register. If you want to go verify, just go to transaction and register. So you should double click in here. And you can see here, you have these two deposits here. One here, and one here. So if you double click it, you can take it back to the same place again. So these are the deposits you made. One deposit slip. Same thing with the other one here. right here and in 
in case you miss something, you know, uh, you need to do some corrections. Let's say, here we go. Like here, if you want to make some correction, you still can do it here. If you took out some bank fees, you can still make adjustment here. Let's say this check, uh, uh, thirty-five hundred dollar. It was, uh, it was. The the bank deducted some bank fees. You can still come here and select the bank fees, the bank service charges, and let's say they charge you thirty five dollars. They can still make corrections. Amount is the expense. So from deposit, it's a negative amount. A negative amount. Right here, thirty five dollars minus. Minus thirty-five dollars. So you have noticed there's a thirty-five dollar bank fee, and your bank deposit went down instead of a uh, different amount here. We'll do three five six five one. Now it's five six one six. Let's say this is the amount, deposit amount you see in your bank statement. Save and close. As you can see here, the different amount here is done. That's it. So, uh, pretty easy. So, that should do it. Thanks for watching. Bye.